Hello guys, how's it going? I made this intro real quick. You already know the vibes. More Madden, more memes, and making more people rage crit. Yeah, I think that uh, sums up everything. And without further ado, I hope you guys uh, enjoy the video. Yes, so let's get it. The kicker Chris Boswell has it ready to go, and we are underway from Pittsburgh. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. They start the drive with Evans, and he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. Now Stafford. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. That was the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Here's Austin. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards, well struck. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. So good field position for the Steelers as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. A handoff to Harris to begin the drive. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. Boy, nowhere to go at all on that first down run as they will get to him behind the line of scrimmage. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Now pick it. And his throw is incomplete. Let's give some credit to the defensive guys on that play. Able to bat that one away. Sure looked like they were trying to hit the corner route. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Pick it. That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. Certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least, it'll be fourth down. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. Now let's see how the offense still out there. They elect to go on fourth and 11. Now pick it on fourth down. Are you serious? That was bullshit. And the Los Angeles offense set to begin their next drive. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is 
yards a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. They'll go right back to Evans here on first down. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down L.A. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Third down just got a lot tougher. That will officially go as a loss of seven. Those big ends don't really care what the play call is. Big pass, RPO, handoff, whatever. Their job, get behind the line of scrimmage every play and run down whoever has the ball. Mission accomplished there. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41 yard. Alex Highsmith making the nice play and getting the sack. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Stafford will stay out there. He'll lead his guys up to go for it on fourth down. Now with just one second showing on the play clock, we're going to get a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short. No good, and this will remain a scoreless game. Well, Brandon, anything beyond 50, you start rolling the dice a bit. And once you get up around 57, 58 yards, the chances of making it go down dramatically. And sure enough, this one winds up no good. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side of their defense came through and was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, partner. A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they'd say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge, and we didn't permit a score. That's how we roll. Well, I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so, but maybe because they held them, they might go for it again. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's the second and eight. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. That's caught. Allen Robinson. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And now we've got a third and three. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. Try him with Pickett here on third down. That is caught. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. They brought in the heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play, but we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one, wound up hitting him for a first down. Meanwhile, Pickett's throw pulled in by Robinson here. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. That's a pair of explosive plays in succession. Both north of 20 yards. Here we go now on first and goal. Now they'll send a tight end in motion left. Here's Pickett. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. That was bullshit. The 
love the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Extra bulk up front for second and inches. Three tight ends. They'll try to run with Harris. And he is unable to get in. They stop him at the line of scrimmage. You serious? They try to get the nose of the football across to no avail. And now it's third and goal. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Third and goal. This L.A. Rams defense will try to bow up once more. Pick it back to throw. And caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. And the Steelers post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Now Mike Tomlin says, let's go ahead and go for two. Now they'll send a tight end in motion left. Pickett will try to throw for this. And no, it falls incomplete. So the two-point conversion, no good. for two and failed. They didn't use him on the PAT, but now he boots this one away with a 6-0 lead. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. Let's see if they can do better here on this drive. T.J. Watt causing the disruption. He gets the sack. One of the league's best linebackers. He ended that play almost before it began, and the running back absolutely overmatched no matter what he tried to do. On second down, here's Stafford. And that'll be incomplete. And this drive was almost over before it began thanks to a great defensive effort. Sacked on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. Third and long, it's Stafford. On his screen, this is Evans. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. They'll get 11, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. So they're going to come to the line here, and it appears trying to go for it on fourth. They snap it to Stafford. It's complete. Swings it out to his running back. But he will not get away. He stops short of the marker. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Steelers, they're going to take over an excellent field position. First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Pick it. He'll look to throw it. They'll get this to his tight end. That's Pat Fryermuth. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 30 yards. I mean, look for a team when you see the finish bottle, but what a nice job of concentration there. Catching the football on that route and then taking it a nice distance. A great example for an offensive throwing short and running long. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package, and that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. On second down, this is Harris. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop him behind the line. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. And now can they reverse the trend on third and goal with the last two plays having gone backwards. Looking to throw, pick it. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. 
Boswell's kick is good. And that will make this a nine point lead. So that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, etc. But this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. The Los Angeles offense set to begin their next drive. They're certainly in need of some kind of points here before the end of the half. A field goal or something being shut out right now. They could really use some momentum before they head into halftime. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you.